Penny Stocks. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to take a look at penny stocks. So if you look at the definition of penny stocks, it, it means it's a stock that are trading under $5. But most people, if you ask on Main Street, they'll probably tell you that penny stocks are stocks that are trading under a dollar. So let's go with the Main Street definition, which like stocks that are trading under a dollar. So um, should you or should you not invest in penny stocks? So this is a, a question I've gotten a lot and so I just kind of want to clear it out and, and give my perspective as to where I stand um, on this topic. So let's assume that penny stocks are stocks that are trading under a dollar and you're thinking to yourself like should I invest in these stocks or should it's just not for me. So um, investing in penny stocks there is three common options that we can actually look at right. First one would be people that did trade penny stocks uh, people that uh, swing trade penny stocks and people that do both. So um, I fall in the category of people that do both. Um, I do tr day trade penny stocks uh, from time to time um, on Weibo. So if you don't know that, I actually have a video coming out that I talked about um, you know how I do trade on, on Weibo and I make $250 a day. So I'm gonna link that video um, in the description below. So, and, and also if you wanna use Weibo, there are, Weibo currently has a promotion where if you sign up right now, you get two free stocks, value somewhere between $2 and uh, $1,400. So again, I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description below. So if you look at people that day trade uh, penny stocks, so they look at these stocks in the morning, um, they have uh, what you call gap scanners that look at the volume and, and movement of the particular stock that day. Um, so the higher the volume and the percentage change, uh, you know that people are going to be looking at that stock and the price will go up and down during the day and um, the ones that have high volume you're going to see a ton of interest people would go in and trade those and make money they don't plan on holding it they just go in at the right time buy it they squeeze up a little bit they take their profit and they get out and so if you're slow uh, you try to invest in, or, or day trade those kind of stocks if you're not fast to go in and out you get caught with these penny stocks where it goes up and you, you you delay it goes down and you're stuck and it just keeps going down from there so you have to be quick if you're day trading it um then people that swing trade it so you can find the good penny stocks that you can swing trade so let's take for instance um with the covet um uh, research going on right now to try to get vaccines there's a lot of pharmaceutical companies that are working on the vaccine that we don't even know about so if you go let's say you go in the pharmaceutical sector um you use your screener um for instance if you go on either uh finviz or even on weibo you you set up your screener to find uh stocks that are under a dollar with a certain volume and stuff Stuff like that those will show up you pick a sector and they'll show up so you can read the profile of those stocks and see if they are working on something interesting they're coming up with uh, some sort of a, a new vaccine new technology or new, just um, a, a new way of approaching something that we already know that's not mainstream yet so those are stocks that could be interesting so you can look at that and say hey I want to swing trade this so you can say you can invest uh, $50 with the potential of making three four five six hundred percent in return even a thousand percent in return if that stock just gets some exposure so that would be for people that want to swing it and then for people that do both like I said you can in the morning you can buy and sell and make money and then others you can actually just look at them and say hey I anticipate that if this stock gets some exposure it's gonna go higher so then you can buy and hold for maybe I don't know a month two or three and then you get that three four five hundred percent return so if you invest fifty dollars I mean you stand a chance of making Maybe making two, three, four, five hundred dollars from your fifty dollars. And the, the thing here is that you want to minimize your risk as much as possible. That's why I am not encouraging you to go take majority of your portfolio and dump it in penny stocks. The idea here is that you should be smart about it. So let's say you have, for instance, a five thousand dollar portfolio, and you decide to I want to take maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars and invest it in, in penny stocks. Now you can find maybe three or four penny stocks and put fifty dollars a pop in each of these stocks. And so again we're talking about stocks that are like ten cents um, a share. So you buy ten or fifteen cents a share for this kind of stock. So you put in fifty dollars with the potential chance of that 15, uh, 15 cents turning into maybe a dollar, a dollar fifteen. Because if you go from ten cents to a dollar, that's ninety cents uh, uh, 
gain on each of those stocks, which is really ridiculous. Um, can you go from, from 10 cents to zero? Yes. So you, that's why, but in this case, you're increasing your chances of making profit, but minimizing your, your risk because you're only putting a really tiny bit uh, of your portfolio, if not just, a, I mean, just a pinch of it into those stocks. Again, like I said, um, if you have a $5,000 portfolio, I would maybe invest $200 in penny stocks and then the rest i'll put them in really good uh, safe blue chip stocks and just hope for that growth so um uh, so back to the question again should or should you not invest in penny stocks number one that i want you to consider is you what i'll call your risk tolerance right um how much risk are you willing to take uh with say your 200 dollars that you want to invest in if that money disappeared tomorrow if that company went bankrupt would you um, just move under a bridge? Would you not be able to pay your bills because of that? If that's your situation, then don't even dare. But if you feel comfortable that, well, I'm gonna take a risk with $200 if, no, it's just like you going to the casino and putting in a slot machine and in and, and just a, a fraction of a second, that money is gone. It would be the same thing. So if that money disappears, you're fine. You can take that risk. But if the returns came back three, four, five, six hundred, even a thousand percent, and then you sit and smile. So that would be the approach that I want you to. So again, uh, do some research, pick a sector. For instance, like I mentioned, pharmaceutical, you can take oil and gas, you can take technology and find uh, a company that, you know, that has what I call penny stocks that's working on something interesting um something that's going to change the way we do things today something that is leading in that it's going to be a leader in that space um, again people might not adapt to that particular technology or that particular research at the time that you're looking at it but if you feel that oh this is something that i'm interested in this is something that i like um because um again look at a company like tesla i'm pretty sure when tesla came out when musk started telling people about Tesla, a lot of people is like, nah, electric cars, I don't think that's possible. How are you gonna charge it? How are you gonna, just asking all these questions, which help him develop what he was gonna do. Um, but so, so to you, that's what I want you to do. Like, hey, can I relate to this new thing? Can I relate to this company? Is what they're working on, um, is it, important to me, then I would want to swing that kind of a company. Um, otherwise, you could just day trade it. I have no attachment to the stocks, some of the penny stocks that I day trade. Some of them are Chinese companies, which I don't even give any uh, uh, attention to. I just look at them. Are they gapping? If they're gapping, you go in, take your little profit and get out pretty much. So um, do research. Um, ask yourself the question if the thing they're working on is something that you're interested in. Would you buy that particular thing? Would you see you using it? Would you see somebody in your family using that? And then you can swing those. Um, do you see it changing um, the world that we live in or changing the way we do certain things? Do you see it helping human beings? Do you see it helping the way that we go about doing things? So um, from agriculture to technology to teaching, just find something that is working on making a difference, making a change. Those are some of the companies that I would personally swing trade. So uh, question of the day, what do you think about um, penny stocks? Do you think it's a very, very high risk? And again, remember, high risk, high reward. That's the deal with penny stocks, right? So you put $50, you can lose $50, but you, you, you stand the potential of making $1,000 from your 50 bucks. So um, what do you think about them? You think, Mr. V, penny stocks are stupid. I would never touch them or... I'm a risk taker. I'm gonna take my chances with penny stocks to potentially become a millionaire. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, just leave them uh, in, in the comment section below. Remember that investing in the stock market is a risky business. So always do your research and make sure that the money that you're investing is something that if you lose, you are not gonna move under a bridge. You're not gonna be homeless. And as always guys, stay motivated.